In today's talk, I'm going to talk about various politicians kidnapping Christianity for their own purposes. This is particularly about an incident involving one Kim Davis, who is a county clerk somewhere in Kentucky. In the June of this year, the United States Supreme Court ruled that states could not ban gay marriage. The basic argument was a equal protection under the law argument as articulated in the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. There is another provision in the Constitution, particularly Article 9 of the Bill of Rights that allows the Supreme Court to find other rights that are not articulated in the Constitution for the people of the United States. Kim Davis decided to stop issuing all marriage licenses in her county. Two gay people wanted to get married. They took her to federal court. The judge ordered Ms. Davis to give them a marriage license. She refused. The judge, she was then summoned back to the court and the judge found her in contempt of court for failing to issue the marriage licenses. Then she was recently released and Mike Huckabee and Ted Cruz went down to her news conference and rally and they were trying to say how she was being persecuted for being a Christian. However, her stance is not very consistent with believing in the Bible. Particularly, well it would be fair to say that the Bible is against homosexuality. There are numerous passages that say that. However, Ms. Davis was issuing marriage licenses for a long time. Additionally, if we look at the relationship of church and state, our Constitution says that the government should not institute a religion. Looking at the book of John, or chapter 18, verse 36, it in particular says, Jesus answered, My kingship is not of this world. If my kingship were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the Jews, but my kingship is not from this world. There cannot be anything much clearer. And Jesus believes in separation of church and state, and so does the United States Constitution. However, Ms. Davis took it upon herself to feel that somehow issuing marriage licenses to gay people would be violating her religious beliefs. Then looking at Corinthians 1 verses or chapter 5 verses 12 and 13 it says, For what have I to do with judging outsiders? It is not those inside the church whom you are to judge God judges those outside. Then she was concerned that because of homosexuality being forbidden by the Bible that issuing marriage licenses would constitute a sin. However, during her tenure she had been 
issuing marriage licenses to people who had been divorced and what does the Bible have to say about that? If you go to Matthew chapter 5 verse 32 it says But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except on the grounds of unchastity makes her an adulteress and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Then if you go to Romans chapter 7 verse 2 and 4 it says thus a married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as she lives but if her husband dies she is discharged from the law concerning the husband. Accordingly she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive but if her husband dies she is free from the law and if she marries another man she is not an adulteress. One of the Ten Commandments is you shall not commit adultery. Therefore for Ms. Davis to be consistent with her views she would have to not issue she would have had to stop issuing licenses to divorce people. Therefore, it's either she is not practicing the religion she claims, or she is being selective in which Bible verses to enforce. This leads us to conclude that she is only doing this for political reasons, for Ted Cruz and Mike Huckabee to go down to Kentucky and claim she is being persecuted for her religion is just false. She is not following the Bible if her claim is that issuing marriage licenses to homosexual people is sinful then it is equally sinful to issue them to divorce people. She had been doing that for a long time and Therefore, her position is untenable and she is just being a politician, as are Ted Cruz and Mike Huckabee.